So I cleaned it on the inside, took all that stuff out. Oh my, so I need to vacuum it. And then right now I'm gonna take off the transmission. So let's see how that comes out. So we got the transmission off um, to check the clutch and it looks new. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to take it off. There's a bunch of green, so I'm pretty sure it has a leak somewhere. I think the one off my Forerunner fits, so I'm gonna go steal that one. From the Forerunner, and I also got, I went to go buy a bunch of parts today, like Brake Master, all the basic stuff. So I'm not a mechanic, but just whatever I think he needs to get it like street worthy. So I'm going over new joints, brake lines, fuel lines, uh, master and slave uh, clutch cylinders, and then the brake mask. Brake master, it might need a booster, I'm hoping it doesn't. And then fuel up, put all the fuel lines, put the transmission back on. Um, the clutch, like I said, is good, so we're gonna try that tomorrow, hopefully, or I don't know. I'm only working during the night because it's super hot during the day in Texas. Like I said, I was supposed to take this one to the expo, but I guess David caught me, and I'm pretty sure I get his running faster than mine. So now I'm just gonna steal a bunch of parts of it off of it for his. So in case you're ever wondering, a 95 uh, Forerunner radiator actually fits on one of these. I guess the core support is still the same. I'm not really sure, but it works. And then I'm pretty sure we need a new coolant reservoir. So we'll figure that out. I could probably still one off the Forerunner. And I need, the alternator should be here Saturday. Today's Thursday. And then the brake master should be here tomorrow morning. Um, and then I need a battery. I forgot my terminals. I put wire everything up. I'm probably gonna do it right now. Or kind of put it in place. And then David's gonna come one of these days to help me put the transmission on. It's kind of heavy. And the jack I have does not work to put it back in. So we're gonna have to muscle it in. And yeah, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing, so. If you don't have no idea what you're doing, just figure it out. And you'll get to it. It shouldn't be that hard. It's an old truck, right? Um, I'm sitting parts off my phone too, because I don't think I'm going to use them. Like I said, I'm going to swap it. So I really don't have that many, that much plans with it. And I need to figure out the firing order on this, because I really don't know. I'll just Google it. It shouldn't be that hard. the clamp for the fuel I guess fill and then I just need to undo these and then unplug that yeah it's almost done and then probably just put on you rubber hoses because you don't want to risk it when you're like somewhere far away 
be able to turn it on today. I put the manifold on. I got a real bad helper over there pretending he knows what he's doing. I, I never said I did. Um, I just need to get the started bolted in and then figure out how to hot wire this truck because we don't have no keys for it. And yeah, that's it for now. What's up guys? Either the core work um, to bypass this, I bought the Chevy coils and like a little thing that makes it spark. So I'm gonna try that. And instead of waiting for parts, or it's more expensive to get this and what I'm gonna do. So hopefully it works. Um, I do have a 12 volt here, so I know it has the ignition is on. Um, so I know it has to be one of these two things. And, Instead of messing around looking for one or trying to figure it out, I'm just gonna put a Chevy one in. It should be a lot easier. I'm gonna use the the thing, the one that gets the the signal from the distributor. Oh, what the Toyota one? So this is a put. It's like a Chevy. I don't know what it's called, and a coil. They're both off a of Chevy. This is the part number to the coil. And then this is the to the module, I guess that's what it's called. And uh, I already got ahead of myself and I turned it on. But check this out. Put a little bit of gas in there. Put some battery to it. And it turns on. So now I just need to put the gas lines, well the gas lines are in there, just put gas in the fuel tank and yeah, fire it up. There's a couple holes on the intake that I need to plug up. So yeah, this is those two things and it's ready to run and then either get brake lines made for it tomorrow and steal some tires off my friend's truck. So I can put them on this thing, bleed the brakes. I have a new brake master on it. So yeah. Um, the good thing is it turns on and the next thing we have to worry about is make sure the carb is tuned right or I mean not tuned right but like is working correctly and yeah that's about it and this was like 50 bucks I know the quotes are pretty expensive for the Toyotas but man it worked So I put a uh, fuel in the fuel tank. I put new, uh, whatever these are called, I forgot. The spark plug wires, um, the return line. Yesterday I was just dumping the fuel to the ground. I put um, some caps in for the vacuum. So hopefully it should run better right now. A few pumps. Great, the battery's dead. What's up guys? Here with Jacob. What's up? Jacob has been doing the Lord's work. If you know what I mean. He's got the truck going. All right, Jacob, let it rip. Let's go, dude. That's leaking gas. That's not good. Wow, David dude. brings bad luck. Huh? What? I said David brings I didn't, bad luck. Wow, dude. So I got to just fire up again it was just that that screw was loose and that's the ground so i didn't have no ground um and then i noticed the carb it wasn't um when you would pump it no fuel would come out so i'm pretty sure i don't know i just need to check the carb so i'm gonna pull it off i already took off all the screws so i took the carb apart um it's actually really dirty so i'm gonna see i don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna take it apart um some of it and then put it back together what i can and then if it doesn't work, I'll take it to one of my friends that knows how to do it. But yeah, you can see all the, the trash that's in there. So yeah, I just need to clean it out and see, hopefully that works. So I got the truck um, to the point where it starts up and it idles. 
I took the carburetor apart. It has a leak, is what I'm noticing right now. So I'm tightening up some screws on the carb. Um, David's coming right now, so I'm not gonna start it until he comes. But yeah, it needs. I'm pretty sure I need a new battery. This battery's no good. And I need to ground the engine, the body, and the chassis. That's why I have these uh, jumper cables. It's grounding out everything. Um, yeah, and it, I put the exhaust on, so it's a lot quieter. It idles better. I still need to fine tune the carb, like the low adjustments, but I don't know much about that. So, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure it out. Like I said, I really, I'm not a mechanic, but yeah, this is what it's done so far. wheels on the truck it actually looks really good um i need to finish water um tying up the cooling system so i can get it idling for a lot longer so that we could um, fine tune it and then i might have to drop the transmission because it actually looks really good i actually have to drop the transmission i think i put the that fork in wrong um so hopefully i don't have to but yeah, I need to get that done. And then I'm just waiting. We need some sway bars. I think Jacob has them or Jake. And yeah, but it looks so far, so far so good. Um, I'm probably not gonna work on it today cause I need to finish some other stuff. But yeah, this is the truck. So it, it seems like it's everything's getting together. Um, we're gonna be pulling out the transmission and putting a clip in supposedly that Jacob forgot to put. Someone, yeah, someone installed it wrong, but that's all good. He was doing it by himself. I understand. Um, got that. And uh, we went to Jake's shop earlier today, and he gave me the seats. I'm going to be putting on in there. We got some spare parts. Let's see what we got over here. We got... Get this camera. We have uh, bezels. I ordered some bezels on eBay for the headlights because uh, the right, the driver's side was broken. So we'll put some bezels on there. I don't know if we'll be able to do that today because focusing on the transmission. And I also got some tail lights for it. There, we have one tail light that already come in here. Oh, great. Of course, um, we got the other one here. So yeah, let's get to work. What is up guys? The next day, we got, this is actually our last day because tomorrow we're supposed to take off. We're supposed to be going to, well, we are going to the expo, but we don't know if this thing's gonna be ready or not. I don't know if I uh, said it on the video, but this is, uh, her name's Tuna Can, or his. I don't know, is it he or she? Is the truck a he or a she, Jacob? I don't know. We don't assume it's gender. But we don't assume it's gender, that's right. It's still not a life to pick its own. <laughs> Well, it's uh, I think it's a heat, honestly. It's an old truck, so tuna can over here. 
hopefully it's uh, ready by tomorrow. I think we're gonna try to fire it up today and drive it around, around the block. So it's about ready to get on a test drive, I think. I don't know, I saw you change out the throttle cable or put the new one on. And yeah, put, I already got all the clamps in, the alternator, everything's on. All the hoses, um, putting coolant in it right now. So I probably still need to turn it on so I could take it out of the air once it's full. But yeah, we're getting close. And then once we turn it on, we'll put the timing light on it. And I think it's supposed to be like five degrees without the vacuum, but I'm not sure. And then we need to bleed the brakes. I forgot to do that. So we have fluid, everything's new. Bleed the brakes, the clutch. And yeah, it's about pretty close. And it's pretty cold. Ah, I forgot to put a hose back. All right, guys, it's, uh, it's today's the day we're taking off. It's already 2.23. I'm meeting up with the guys at 4.30. Jacob got this thing running in about a week. It's been resurrected. It's been parked from what I see on the registration sticker since 2007. little things here and there. <laughs> Are we gonna, is he gonna make it to uh, the expo? I'm not sure. Hey, hey remember that freaking pin is holding the leaf springs. Yeah. And then I need to put the shotgun on the truck. I was able to find the wire for the key so I can just turn on the key now. Also, the alternator is not charging, so I need to figure out why. Um, it's a brand new alternator, like I just bought it, so I need to figure out what's wrong with it. Or if it's, sometimes I, it happens to me before where I get new alternators and they're bad. Um, or rebuild, I guess, the rebuild alternators from O'Reilly's, and sometimes they're bad. Um, the carb, everything is fine. I put a, an air cleaner, I mean, for the carb. I need to wire the solenoid for the low idle for the car right now it's just hot. And also the the timing um, was off by like a tooth, so I had to pull it off and retime it. Um, and yeah, now idles. It turns out it idles pretty normally. It sounds like a knock. 
I don't know if it is. I hope it's not. Um, when you rev it, it doesn't sound louder, so I don't know what it is. I'm not too familiar with these engines or how they sound, so yeah. So yeah, like I said, I got the key working. Like I said, it has a brand new alternator. I don't know if it's alternator or something else, but I need to go get it tested again. And I put a new distributor cap. Uh, the timing, like I said, it was this whole thing was jumped a tooth. So it was like advanced. Um, these are supposed to be at zero is what I, right I read online. And it was like at 12, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, the interior, I still haven't done nothing with it. And I even put the seat, the seat ain't even bolted down. And then check out the old, the original engine in it. You can see it's all, the valves are all rusted. And look at the block. There is definitely water inside of it. So I'm going to see if I can rebuild this. And uh, I'm going to take it to a machine shop. And they'll let me know if it's I could cut it um, wide enough where I could get uh, pistons for it and all that stuff. So yeah, I just need to go take it to a machine shop and check it. And has everything for it. Tail lights. Um, I need to put the plates on it, but yeah, I have, I put the front grill. It looks pretty good. I need a, I might have to clearance the hood so it could close over this. Like I said, this is off a 95 Forerunner, so it's newer and it's way bigger too. Like you could tell how it sh originally was down here. So like the only plus size to this is it should run cooler. Um, most of the time.